Hello, my name is Alfred Åkesson and I will in this video present my thesis Compos, a domain-specific language for composing Internet of Things systems. So, I will now give an overview of my thesis Compos, a domain-specific language for composing Internet of Things systems. Internet of Things is the trend of cheap computers with connectivity getting integrated into everyday devices such as lamps and dishwashers. When connecting different connected devices together, they form what we call an Internet of Things system. Besides the challenges of creating normal computer systems, creating Internet of Things systems has two additional challenges. We must be able to handle weak connectivity because devices can disconnect at any time. We must support that the system is always running because we cannot reboot all devices at once. The main question we research in this thesis is how can we simplify development of IoT systems? One way to divide our research is into three different areas. In paper 1 and 4 we look into the experience of programming IoT systems. In paper 1, live programming of Internet of Things in Palcom, we show how to combine the discovery of devices with composing systems. In paper 4, we present a meta tool for creating projectional editors. This tool is used to create an editor for a composition language. The second area is the programming model for IoT systems. In paper 2 we present COMPOS, a domain-specific language used for composing Internet of Things systems. The last area is system understanding, where we try to find ways to understand IoT systems better. In paper 3 we create a runtime model for IoT systems and use that model to implement an analysis called device dependency analysis. We build much of the research in this thesis on top of the Palcom middleware toolkit. We will now go through some of the Palcom concepts needed to understand this thesis. In Palcom, services running on devices communicate with each other through compositions. Another way to put it is that compositions connect services on devices. A simple example of a Palcom system is shown below. The camera device has a camera service and the laptop has a storage service that can store images. A device can have multiple services, for example the laptop could also have a computational service. The composition connects the camera service to the storage service. When the laptop takes a photo, the image is stored on the laptop. Palcom has functionality for discovering services and devices on the network. The focus of this thesis is on service composition, specifically the language used for specifying the compositions. On this slide I want to go deeper into services on compositions. Services provides functionality to the devices. They do this by providing an interface for sending and receiving messages. Services cannot set up connections to other services. 
Instead, Compositions sets up the connection to services. Thus, the service doesn't know the identity of the other services they communicate with. Compositions, on the other hand, glue services together into IoT systems. The compositions are programmed in a domain-specific language. During this presentation, we use the following running example. We want to build a system that allows us to spy on the birds in our garden. The system consists of a motion sensor that takes movements in the garden and a camera that takes photos of the garden. The system also has a laptop running a service for storing images and one service with artificial intelligence that can recognize if an image contains a bird or not. We want the system to work the following way. When we detect motion in the garden, the camera takes a photo and if the photo contains the bird according to the artificial intelligence, it is stored on the laptop. The logic for composing the system is put in the composition. Paper 1 in the thesis is called Live Programming of Internet of Things in Palcom. In this paper, we categorize free activities for programming IoT systems in Palcom. The Explore activity is about exploring what services and devices are on the network. Using the development environment called the Palcom browser, we can explore and interact with the services to uncover their functionality. In the Compose activity, we compose services into IoT systems using compositions. In the Expose activity, we expose a composition's combined functionality of services as a new service called Synthesized Service. One can then explore these synthesized services and use them in different compositions. The developer jumps between these different activities when creating an IoT system using Palcom. The Palcom browser is the development environment for compositions. To the left we see the services and devices available on the network. Here we see that the AI service from the example that provides an interface for finding out if an image contains a bird or not. To the right we see the composition editor. This editor is built using the tool Jatte presented in paper 4. To use a service in a script the user can drag it from the discovery view to the left to the editor on the right. Paper 2. Compos. Composing systems of services. This is the longest paper in the thesis. In this paper we present Compos, a domain-specific language for composing Internet of Things system. This language can be used for specifying compositions in Palcom. As part of the semantics of Compos, we will look into how Compos handles the arrival of new messages. We do this because different ways of handling new messages impact how a system performs in the presence of weak connectivity. We will also show a case study where we re-implement 11 compositions in a home care system and compare 
our re-implementation with the original implementation. The Compost DSL sets up connections to services and then coordinates incoming and outgoing messages. Compost has now no support for computations. Instead, computations are delegated to the services. Compost has four control flow constructs. Sequence for doing one thing after another. Select for handling alternative responses. Parallel for waiting for responses in parallel. And finish first to wait for one branch to finish. Now we want to show Compost with the help of the bird watching scenario. To the left is the composition. The composition begins with defining the services used in it. Then follows the coordination script that we will go through. To the right is an overview of the system containing the motion sensor, the camera, but also the bird AI and the storage service running on the same laptop as the composition. The motion sensor takes movement in the garden and sends a move message. The move message arrives at the composition and matches the outer when due. This starts a new so-called reaction. The reactions contain program counters and variable values. The next step is that the composition sends take photo message to the camera. Then the composition waits for a response. The response arrives and the composition stores the photo in the img variable. Then continues use to execute the composition. In the next action, the composition sends an has bird request to the bird AI with the received image as a parameter. The composition waits at the select for a is bird or is not bird response. In the example, the bird AI responds is bird. The composition receives the isBird message that match with one of the whens. It executes the whens body that sends the store image message to the storage service with the image as a parameter. The reaction has now finished its execution and is removed. Now we want to look at strategies for handling new messages. We begin by taking a few steps back in the example. We are now in a situation where we wait for the bird AI to respond. But instead of us receiving a response, the motion sensor detects movements in the garden and sends a move message. Note that the message before were brown but the new move message is blue. These different colors indicate different message chains. What should we do now when we receive the new move? We have an already running reaction 
and we get a message that wants to start a new reaction. I will now present four different strategies one can use in the situation. Ignore, cue, parallel and abort. With the ignore strategy, we ignore the new message because we already have a running reaction. With the queue strategy, we put the incoming message in a queue and wait for the current reaction to finish before we start a reaction for the next message in the queue. In parallel, we execute the two reactions concurrently. With the abort strategy, we abort the currently running reaction and start a reaction for the new incoming message. In our implementation, we use the abort strategy. The table shows a comparison between the different strategies for four different properties. The row title responsive indicates that the latest message starts a new reaction directly. Green boxes indicate that we think this property is desirable. Bounded means that the number of message chains is bounded. Eager abort means that the running reaction is aborted directly. We think this property is sometimes desirable, but not always. Thus, it has a yellow color. Need timer means that a timer is needed to remove stuck reactions. With the abort strategy, we can also implement the other strategies using an extra service. In our implementation of the abort strategy, we only want a newer related message to abort a reaction. For doing this, we introduce epochs. An epoch consists of a place and a time. In our case, the place is a connection indicated by P and the time is a counter indicated by the subscript T. We tag both reactions and messages with epochs. Uh, an incoming message with epoch PT prime aborts a currently running reaction with epoch PT if and only if they are from the same place, i.e. P prime and P is equal and the message is newer, that is T prime is larger than T. Now I want to show two examples with epochs. For the example, we will use the system shown here. The system has two services that spontaneously send messages, source 1 and source 2. Messages on the connections between the sources and A starts new message change, chains and are used as identifiers in epochs. For these examples we call the two connections strawberry and ice cream. This first example introduces the system. Here source 1 sends a message on the connection strawberry and the composition A receives it. 
when A receives the message, it creates a new reaction with the epoch strawberry one. In the reaction, A sends two requests in parallel, B1 and B2, and tags them with the epoch. B1 and B2 start each a reaction with the epoch strawberry one and send request to compute one and compute two tagged with the epoch. Compute one and compute two perform some computation and respond. Then B1 and B2 respond and end their reactions. Last, A sends a message to sync and ends its reaction. Now to the second example in which we show how epox is used to abort reactions. It starts the same as the example from before with a message from source 1 to A. And then sends messages B1 and B2. And B1 sends to compute 1 and B2 sends to compute 2. At this moment, A, B1 and B2 are waiting for responses and can be aborted. What happens now if S1 sends a new message? A will create a new reactions with Epoch Strawberry 2 and abort the old reaction. A will also send out the new request tags tagged with strawberry 2. These requests will abort the reaction B1 and B2 because strawberry equals strawberry and 2 is greater than 1. The new reactions will have epochs tagged with strawberry 2. Now source 2 sends a message on the connection we call ice cream. This message starts a reaction with the epoch ice cream 1. Composition A now runs two reactions. They do not abort each other because they are from different places, strawberry and ice cream. Composition A also sends out the tagged request to B1 and B2. B1 and B2 create and start a new reaction. We can note that every spontaneous message sent from source 1 and source 2 starts new epochs. As part of paper 2, we also conducted a case study. In the case study, we re-implemented 11 compositions that are part of a system for home monitoring of patients with kidney failure. The original implementations were using another composition language. We found that control flow was, was more explicit in our Compost implementation compared to the original implementation. Paper 3. Runtime modeling and analysis of IoT systems. In this paper, we propose a runtime model for Palcom system. The model is shown here to the right. We use relational reference attribute grammars to specify the meta model. The models are built automatically 
using the discovery functionality in Palcom. The model also contains the abstract syntax tree of the compositions, making it possible to create analysis on top of the model. To show how to create an analysis, we propose and implement the device dependency analysis. The device dependency analysis finds what devices are needed for a specific event to happen. I will now show an example of the device dependency analysis. In this example, we have the bird spying system, but with two cameras. When there is movement in the garden, two photos are taken and stored if they have a bird. Using device, the device dependency analysis, we want to find what devices are needed for the store message to be sent. The analysis finds two sets of devices that can independently of each other result in the store message to be sent. Here I show the first set with the motion sensor, laptop and camera 1. The second set contains camera 2 instead of camera 1. We can say that this system allows for graceful degradation of functionality because if, if one camera stops working, this, this system still works. Paper 4. Jatte, a tunable tree editor for integrated DSLs. In this paper, we present a tool for creating projectional editors using attribute grammars. When we created the tool, we had some requirements in mind. We wanted to support fast prototyping. Thus, the tool generates a default editor from an abstract grammar, but we also want to customize the editor, which the user can do in Jatte using attributes. We want to be able to hide some information from the user. Therefore, we generate projectional editors. We also want to be able to have interaction between the editor and the surrounding applications. We thus support drag and drop. Here we show an overview of the process for creating the Compose Editor. Together with the compiler specification and the editor tuning for Compose, Yatte is input to Yastad that generates Java code. This input together with the Yatte library Palcom library and some um, application code gluing everything together is input to the Java compiler to produce the compost editor. To conclude, I want to list the results of the thesis. We propose free activities for programming Palcom IoT systems. Explore, compose, expose. We classified the Palcom programming environment as between level 3 and 4 using Tanimoto's levels of liveness. We propose Compos, a DSL for composing services. We describe four different strategies for handling new messages. Ignore, queue, parallel abort. We implement abort using epochs. We show how to get the other strategies using an additional service. We evaluate Compos in a case study re-implementing uh, compositions in a home care system. The case study shows that Compos has more explicit control flow than the original composition language. 
we propose implementations of seven common home automation scenarios proposed by Rodriguez Avila et al. We propose a conceptual model for Palcom system specified using relational reference attribute grammars. We formulate and implement the device dependency analysis DDA on top of our conceptual model. We propose a new technique for developing integrated projectional editors using reference attribute grammars. We implement this technique in the JATE framework and assess it by implementing editors for a toy language and compass. Thanks for listening.